please rise for a brief moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, New Brighton. Today is Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. A representative from the Army National Guard will be here on Wednesday, February 28th, during all lunch periods, to meet with any student interested in joining the military. Freshmen and sophomores, this will count as a visit for your career portfolio. Bring your money for the Leap Day Bake Sale on February 29th, during all lunch periods. We have everything from chocolate chip cookies to cookie dough and Teddy Graham cups, priced at $1 to $3. Teachers. Be on the lookout for a pre-order form in your email. Items will be packaged for you before opening up to the student body. All proceeds will benefit AP Lit's field trip. There will be a meeting on February 28th in the Lille Theater for any girl interested in playing volleyball. It is time for male upperclassmen to register for the Pre Prevention Network's annual Mr. Beaver County Scholarship Competition which offers a cash prize of $1,000 for the first place winner. See link for info. Attention all skiers and snowboarders. There are plenty of spots available on the bus, but if we don't get another 15 students signed up, the trip will be canceled. Please tell your friends. Deadline is February 29th. See Mr. Hixenbaugh in room 100. The registration deadline for the June 1st SAT taking place here at NBHS is May 17th. If you are a junior that plans to attend college, it is highly recommended that you take this SAT. Please make sure to sign up soon before the seats fill up. If you think you may qualify for a fee waiver, please stop and see your counselor. Each student must complete a career portfolio each year. Check the written announcement documents for dates. This year's due dates are as follows. Freshmen, March 8th. Sophomores, March 15th. Juniors, March 29th. If you have lost something recently, please check the lost and found box in the guidance office located between the two desks. This is where most lost items go when they can't find their homes. Please claim these items if they are yours. Now on to the weather. Save the dates. Varsity cheer trial practices February 27th to 28th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. main gym. Trials February 29th, sign-in starting at 6 p.m. Trials begin at 7.30 in the main gym. More info to come. Weather for today is scattered thunderstorms with a 90% chance of precipitation, a high of 62, and a low of 59. Now with the birthdays of lunch. Happy birthday to Sydney Campbell, Abby Sattel, and David Turner. Lunch for today will be buffalo chicken dippers, garlic toast, sausage pizza, steamed green beans, pineapple tidbits, applesauce, chicken sandwich, breaded chicken salad, wraps and hoagies, and pizza. Menu subject to change. Have a great day, New Brighton. What subjects slash grades, if any, do you teach? If you do not teach a specific subject, please describe what you do on a daily basis at New Brighton. I teach 10th and 11th grade. Uh, I'm a learning support teacher, uh, and I'm in with Mr. Bogovich, uh, periods four and six, with Mr. Nagel, periods one through three, that's for algebra 1B, and with Mr. Frederick, period eight for geometry. That's mostly 11th graders. Where did you grow up? I went to Moon Area High School uh, for, well, for my whole life, and I graduated from there in 2018. And then I went to uh, Penn State Barron, uh, starting in 2018 for my undergraduate degree, which was in history. And then I got my master's in Pitt, right at, at Pitt, right after that, uh, which I got it's a certificate to teach social studies 7 to 12 and a you know, degree to teach uh, special ed pre-K to 12. And I finished that up last June. What is your favorite type of music or what is your favorite band slash singer? I like rock music a lot. Um, I don't know. Velvet Underground, Rolling Stones, Beatles. Um, I like a lot of classic rock uh, and I always have. What is your favorite television show? Uh, probably Seinfeld. I always watch it with my family and my friends like it too, so it's, it's my go-to comfort food show. Did you play any sports or were you in any clubs in high school or college? Yeah, in high school I did cross country and track, 
Uh, I did track up until my senior year. I didn't do it my last year. I did cross country all the way through, including uh, eighth grade and middle school. Um, I was in the science club, which was basically just the recycling club. Uh, we got to go to the zoo at the end of the year. Um, and I was in volleyball club, I think, my freshman year, either volleyball or dodgeball. But, uh, and then nothing really in college, just kind of stayed active with my friends. What was your favorite subject in school? Uh, so it was always social studies. Um, like in middle school, I liked it a lot. But um, as I got into high school, I got th started thinking about getting like, more serious about it. Um, and which kind of led to why I got my history degree at uh, Penn State Barron uh, as my undergrad. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, the horror movie from 1982. Uh, I'm not a huge horror movie fan, but that's I love it. Uh, I think it's my favorite movie overall. What is your favorite food slash drink? My favorite food is probably just like a cookout cheeseburger. Um, favorite drink is probably Coke. If I could have that meal for every meal, I probably would without having a, you know, health problems. If you could change one problem in the world, what would it be? I think a big problem is uh, a lack of good education, uh, which I think goes partly towards explaining why I'm here. Uh, I care very, you know, very much about it. Um, so if I could change one problem, I'd bring a more equitable education to more people around the world. If you couldn't meet anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, probably it's an easy answer, but I'd probably meet like Abraham Lincoln. Uh, I like history, like I said. Um, I like the 19th century a lot too, I find it interesting. So I, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody more important for that time period, so I'll go with him. How has your experience at New Brighton been so far? My experience at New Brighton has been fantastic so far. Uh, I know it's only been two and a half months or so, um, but I'm a brand new teacher. It's my first full-time permanent job. Uh, they took a chance on me, and I think it's, you know, I'm very grateful for that opportunity. Uh, I really like all my coworkers, all the other teachers at the school. Um, administration's been great, kids have been great, so I'm looking forward to a long time here. Is there anything else that you would want the New Brighton High School population to know about you? I would want them to know that I have uh, basically like an open door policy, that, um, you know, if you ever need anything, whether you have me in class or not, uh, my door is open. Um, I'm always willing to help, you just have to, you know, I can't read minds, none of us can, so it just, it, it helps if you, uh, you know, let us know what you're thinking, what you need, um, and if I can accommodate you in any way, I will.